With the weather as cold as it's been this week, hypothermia and severe frostbite can quickly set in. Joe Khalil spoke with ER doctors today about what happens to your body when it's in the cold too long. And we have to give you a heads up because some of the footage that you're about to see is graphic. In sub-zero temperatures, Eric Weber says it's not uncommon for Lansing's fire department to get rescue calls for people literally freezing to death. If they're shivering and you can see that their hands, uh, extremities are starting to look ashen, we get them out of that environment. Severe cases like these with frostbite or hypothermia are taken to the ER. Every single shift every day we see these guys come in. Usually uh, our homeless uh, people have been outside for too long. Dr. John Derry says as your body reacts to the cold, it leaves certain areas more vulnerable. Your blood starts to shunt away from the non-essential parts of your body. Tips of your fingers, your nose, uh, your toes. It tries to shunt all the blood towards the center to keep your heart, your lungs warm. Now I've been outside here with no hat or no gloves for about 10 minutes and you can already start to see where my body's losing its heat. Now the whiter areas here through these thermal images are where I've stayed warm, but the darker areas like my fingertips, my ears, and my nose are where I've already lost a significant amount of body heat. Your skin actually starts to lose 65% of its heat just by radiation alone. Derry says with temps like we have today, it won't take long for the beginning stages of weather-related injury to kick in. You'll definitely feel that prickly sensation on your fingers and toes. That only takes just a few minutes. But if you have to be outside in the cold, Weber says, at least be prepared. Properly dressed for cold weather, um, but if you have to be out in a long time, is maybe to take breaks out occasionally. He says to avoid losing body heat, even short breaks staying warm can save you a trip to the ER. In Lansing, Joe Khalil, 6 News.